ding ding. Who is that? Well, he's like right up on me. Look at this. I know, I'm in the public area. The radio and it in. Blocking the, the way here for people to come through. He's gonna have to work for it. So somebody already snitched on me. Pretty good, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, I'm off to Collinsworth with the DA police. What's going on? Just doing some recording, bud. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can do that. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh Yeah, I read up on the uh the federal or the, the policy and laws here. Yeah. I can go into like the halls and the foyers. Yeah, and, absolutely. But I'm not really sure because of the COVID though. Yeah, yeah. So right now, you know, they've got some uh pre-screens everybody's got to go through for COVID-19. Yeah. The only thing that I can see that you're in violation of while you're here right now is you have a knife on your person. You can't have that on the federal property. Oh, like a box cutter? You can't have any knives on you right now, okay. so we have no weapons. So I'll I'm just throw have to that actually, over there. I, yeah, whatever you do with it, but I'm going to have to actually... Uh, so if I throw it away, I can come back on? You, you could, me? yeah, potentially. But can I, I give it to you? Well, no, I can't take custody of it off, but hold on a second, though. So, uh, yeah, but as you can see right there in that sign, it's clearly posted at 18. USC, yeah, subsection sure. 930, no firearms and no weapons. Oh, wow. Yeah. So do you have an identification on you? I do not. Okay, so at this time... But I'll leave. Well, hold on a second, sir. You're not, not free to go yet. Am I detained? No, I'm not saying you're detained. I'm conducting an investigation. If right? I'm not detained, on, I'm not breaking on. any law. Hold on, sir. Yeah, am right, I detained? Right, I, hold on. Am I so, detained? Sir, Yes or on. no, am I detained? I understand what you're am trying I to detained? do. Well, right now, I'm conducting an investigation. Am I detained? about why you have a weapon have on I you. Broken you may laws. have another weapon. Well, yes, it appears that you have, may have broken a law. That's a policy. Right have I no, have that's a federal law. That's 18 I, United States am Code, I being detained? Section 930. Sir, just hold on one second. No, I'm not going to hold. You didn't say I was detained, so Please I'm going to leave the property and get rid of it. What I told you, sir, is that you're not free to leave, and I understand Okay, well, this is an unlawful stop. No, because sir, this you is have not. not you, are break, you are breaking a federal law well, right now. Let's get on the road. Yeah, let's, let's go over here where it's safe. But I'm not detained, so you sir. can't you can't hold me if I'm not detained. Sir, I'm conducting an investigation. But right you now. have to tell somebody if they're detained. Sir. I'm not going anywhere. You can back off, dude. I'm not running. I'm just getting out of the road. And I'm agreeing to... Yeah, toss it off the property. I mean, it's a box cutter. I'm not even in the building. I'm in the parking lot. No, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right. So I understand you're here within your rights doing a yeah, First absolutely. Amendment audit. Yeah. And I applaud that. Cool. I applaud your First Amendment rights. But what I don't applaud is you coming on federal property with a weapon. Okay. Okay. So, so in that case, I'm asking you to, what's your name? If you don't have, if you don't have an ID, what's your name? Good citizen. No, that's under, we're, so when you're here, uh, but you have to detain me, and I'm not even checked into the lobby, so you hold, can't use the on, sign sir. in. I don't even have to do that. I, I under y'all's rules. I understand what you're saying, but you're here on federal property, right? You have a weapon on your person, right? Do we agree with that? You have a, you have I a don't knife? think it's a weapon. Do you no. have a knife? I have a box cutter. Okay, so you have a knife on your property. A box cutter on, on VA federal property, it's and I'm and I'm willing posted. to get rid of it. I understand. But until I, right now, what I'm doing is I'm investigating that knife. So give no, me one moment. No, you're you're. I feel that you're I, I harassing understand. me because of my well, First Amendment rights and having no, this. No, not at all. You're using this to just pick on me, No, basically. not at all. You, you can twist it that way if you like. But I'm willing to get that. rid of it. I'm I only like three, on ten second. feet away from the property to get rid of it. Am I being detained? Well, I'm conducting an investigation right now. Am I and being detained? What an investigation I do, but you, have to, you okay. have to lawfully tell me that I'm detained. I'm conducting an investigation right now. Give you have to tell me if I'm detained, sir. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to go over near the road. You can follow me if you want. Where are you going, sir? Just right over here. Uh, I want you to stay in this area. <laughs> sir, I'm not detained. This is unlawful. I can sue the living hell out of you right now for not detaining me. I, I understand. Okay, then. Yeah, go ahead and uh, get my lawyer on the other line. That's fine. Just hold on. I'm talking thing. to somebody in my earbud. Okay, so he heard it. Okay, that's what I thought. So the officer out here is not um, detaining me and saying that I have a box cutter, which I do on federal property, and I was more than willing to toss it off the property. 
Yeah, and he's wanting my name. But no, I didn't even go in the building yet. I'm in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm at the boundary. I haven't crossed off the boundary yet on, this, on the public road yet. He's he's in front of me. I'm all and he's not you. detaining me. I told you I'm conducting an investigation. And I told you I was going to get rid of the box cutter and even stay off the property. <laughs> So if you're not detaining me, you're breaking it. It's unlawful, sir. Okay, so watch. This is not your property. There you go. Okay, so am I still detained? Or am I detained, period? I told you I'm conducting an investigation. Dude, you can't. Right uh, do you I have, can absolutely. Call Cape Coral Police. Call the Cape Coral yeah, Police. I'll, I'll call Cape Coral Police. They know exactly who I am. They'll identify for you. Yeah, that's great. I'm, I'm, with I'm not even on the property now, so he can't enforce this. He let me leave the property. So, I'm not even on your property now, dickhead. Go fuck yourself. Get away from me. You fucking piece of shit tyrant. You're just a tyrant, dude. This is a public access. You could have been cool about it and just said, Hey, man, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. You could have been cool about it, but she wanted to be a dickhead tyrant. Watch out for that guy. Hey, watch out for him. He's got a weapon. Watch out for him. He's dangerous. He'll arrest you. Watch out for old Buttersworth there. You fucking douchebag. I can't read the lips because of the mask, but they said I wasn't going to get arrested. And I can't, I'm on a public sidewalk. That's right, it's crazy. I'm starting to keep him in. Okay. Uh, I just want to advise you of some, some just some differences of what was what was between you and my officer, that's all. Okay. You are well within your rights to videotape. And I encourage it. I I fully support you and our veterans. That's what he said. Uh, yep, and, and if Unfortunately, I can't let you in the building because of the whole COVID and everything else. Right, right. Um, I can direct you to our public affairs officer, who would be more than happy to help you with anything you might need. Um, the only the only issue that was at play was that you had the knife that is in the street now. Yeah. Please feel free. Uh, we're not going to touch it. It's off of our property. Okay. Um, I think there was confusion about whether it's a law or a policy. It is federal law. Yeah, it is. See? I noticed They're that. They're not allowed on the facility, which you, you're perfectly fine now. Okay. Um, oh. the, back, the back area... I'm going to take this off so you can hear sure, yeah. me. Um, the back area is a restricted area because that, that's for employees and stuff. Um, Past and the fence. After the fence, yes, sir. Okay. Um, you're, you're more than willing or more than able to videotape anything you want. Uh, I ask that you don't for, for privacy of veterans and, and um, employees, if, if you could do me that favor. Right. Other than that, by all means, you know, if there's anything we can do for you to help you out, you know, let me know. Um, I have a question. As yes, far sir. as, like, uh, when you go inside, uh -huh. I'm sure there's a screening process with metal detectors and stuff. Is that what's no, inside? There's, there's, there's no not? metal detectors or nothing like that. Are you a veteran? No, but uh, okay. my question is, is how would you know if somebody, there's no metal detector, like somebody just forgot a pocket knife or nail clippers? Just, just by vision is, is how he just saw it. And then he does have the right to detain you at that point because this, is, if this isn't public property. It, it's, it's federal property. But the, where it was wrong is he visually seen the clip. And you could only see the top of whatever it was by that much. And you, you can't tell that's a knife until I pull it out of my and, pocket. And that's for him. I wasn't there. So right. I don't know. I apologize. Um, but again, if there's anything that we can do for you to help you out, you know, if, if, would you like the number to, to public affairs? No, I have all that. Okay. I, I've, done, I've done my research, but okay. where I screwed up, and I admit to that, I'm not trying to put everybody on camera and make no, a big deal and pay people. But I, I, that was my mistake. And that's fine. You know? It's sitting right where you left it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to go pick it up for like, yeah. some kid walk by. Here. Yeah, I will. I will. I was going to. I just... the, the sidewalk is our property, but you are, like I said, you, you are more than welcome to come onto our property, and I encourage you. Okay. You know, I, I don't want any issues, and I don't want to get any issues. No, um, you know, we're not, and we're not here to give you a hard time. I just wanted to make contact with you because I'm the supervisor. Here. Okay, cool, so I, man. I just wanted to make, make contact with you and... and you know, make clear of any differences that you might have. And do you have a, you see, how do you say your name? Keeper. And is there a serial or badge number? 1993. What was yours? Oh, you're, you're the same guy. I thought you were in no, that car. Not, yeah, no, we, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to walk up here and talk with you. I'm sorry I got twisted, man. I don't, no.
Now, when I admit to that, I shouldn't have got twisted with you on it, but it's just... I, mean, I walked up and treated you with respect, talked to you. You did, you and I said that on my yeah. video. Like, like honestly, yeah. I, I watch these videos because yeah. like, I'm an American, you know, I believe right. in the First Amendment. Absolutely. So, but where we had that difference is that weapon. And, yeah, you know, I shouldn't I have did you, that. I told well, you at the time I was just, 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 Yeah. Just, the difference is that it's not public property, it's federal property. But what's bad is, before I even come on the property, I'm already reading the signs, and I'm yeah. like, damn, it just went over my head, no worries, so, man. but again, that won't happen know, again. Yeah, if there's anything we can do for you, sure. you know, please feel free to reach out, and okay. we're, we're more than happy to help you, man. Okay. By, by all means, we encourage you. Anything you can do to help the veterans, is I'm a veteran, and he's a veteran. Awesome, thank anything you for your you service. Anything you can do to help the veterans, you know, we're more than willing to help you with this. Oh, yeah, there's going to be more. The name of my channel is Audits of Freedom. I'm on you, Audits of Freedom okay. on YouTube, yeah. and I do a lot of places How many videos do you have up there? Right now. right now, there's about 180. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And it's only sitting at like about 4,000 subscribers, but in the YouTube world, that's a lot because it gets out there. Area? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was telling you, you know, if there was a, if you were really, you know, freaking out or whatever, you could spot. I know Cape Coral don't have any jurisdiction on this property, yeah. but you can call them and they know, they know, I've done their police department, their chief, everybody knows me yeah. over there. But, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was a pocket knife, right? <laughs> yeah. I saw yeah, you know, rusted gold. Uh, but still, it's still a knife, you yeah. know what I mean? You so, know, I, it, because it is your property and it's off our property, I didn't want to touch it and move right. it. It is kind of in the street, so I don't want it to get damaged on you if you want to grab it. But um, again, you're, you're more than willing to, to do what you need to do, my man. Uh, the only qu only other question I promise to let you go. Yeah, I know you guys yeah, are yeah, just, um, can, can we just move just a little bit? Yeah. yeah. And I'm sorry so, I'm getting close to him. Just having no, really that's tired. okay. That's okay. So, detainment. When, you know, you're investigating yeah. and with the local police, Cape Coral, their policy is, and what they say and what they've told me on camera is if somebody, you have to detain somebody if you're investigating them. Yeah, and, during an investigative stop, absolutely. But, that, yeah. that, is, that is being detained. That's but, what I told you, is investigative stop. But you never would tell me if I was detained and that's right. where but I, told you you I got free. mad. But I, no, I didn't get mad. And you didn't, told, you, but you, I told you told me you I was free. You I kept should, going in front of me. I think you weren't free to leave. Okay, yeah. but that means detain. Just say detain, because sure. it's going to be confusing with a lot of people, man. Especially a First Amendment order. I'm with yeah. walls. That's yeah. I'm going to say no, detain. I, I understand, but I mean, yeah. I think I think at that point, you know, we both knew that yeah. you know you were in violation of a law, Absolutely. not a policy. Absolutely. And I, you know, you knew it. I yeah. knew it. I informed you of it. And you know, I would have been in my rights to absolutely stop you and, and stop yeah. you from leaving. But I, but I did it because it's a, it's a pocket knife. Right. And some sort of common sense has to prevail. It happens. I'm sure so tons of people probably with. come in here and just so forget about it. Your charge card. I'll give one. Just to show. Just, yeah. Give them the, the number. So yeah. just so you're familiar with the laws that we do instill here. Oh, okay. We have our own little charge card, so then you're familiar with with stuff that we we do have. It's called concurrent jurisdiction, where we can go state and federal. Yeah, oh wow. But this is the main, what, what we go off of, our penalty is the uh, 38 CFR. 1.218 okay. is our schedule of offenses for the VA specifically. Okay. And just, just so you can know for future references what, what uh, Oh, that's cool. The things that we yeah, do charge under on a, on a regular basis. For sure. Just yeah. for, for yeah. educational yeah. purposes. Yeah. So basically so for no minor more. offenses. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Anything Federal major. Petty offense yeah. for. Okay, well, just I'm going to do some more out here today, Absolutely. but just yeah. don't worry. I, I will not go in any areas. I never do that. Yeah. No, I mean, if and I'm do, really big on signs, but not yeah. that sign well, for some no, reason. Yeah. And, and if you do, just get a hold of the public affairs office. I will. Yeah. It should be more than happy to get you inside or whatever you need to do. Again, it's washy with the whole COVID going yeah. on, but, yeah. you know, any, anything we can do to help you, man. Absolutely. I'll let them know, too, Is man. It, you guys do great. Just curious here. What, what's your name? Thomas. Thomas, nice yep. to meet you. You take care Nice of to meet you. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Thanks for serving again. Yes, sir. Thank you. Absolutely. Great video, guys. So that...